Mali is sitting on the other side of the world. I am in Pakistan. She is in the United States of America. And together, we are not only uniting our cultures, but the life of Mali and Sister Zeph is a proof that no matter how far we are, if we have shared vision, we can do wonders together. I met Sister Zeph on Facebook in March of 2015 because I had watched a documentary about her and her school on a humanitarian page I was following. And I saw that she was online commenting on the post about her documentary in real time. I reached out to her on Facebook Messenger because I was amazed that this woman in this village in Pakistan was so connected on social media. With limited time and no planning, I asked her what $50 would do, or if that would make any difference at all. I grew up wanting to make a difference, but I always thought I had to be rich and well-connected. She told me that $50 would pay a teacher's salary for one month, and my jaw about hit the floor. The next day, before I left on my trip, I sent her $50 via Western Union, and from there, we developed a really close connection and working relationship fast. We are supporting homeless and orphans. We are helping widows who otherwise have no hope to support themselves and their children. We are also teaching free skills to women, to the rural women, who have no opportunity to be empowered financially. I started out teaching art classes to some of her students every weekend, and I did multiple crowdfunding campaigns within the first few years to help her finish building her school. Since the students were all having to learn and take classes together on the floor, and there was no proper ceiling or anything. It's not easy, you know. It takes a lot of financial support to do all these things. One year after meeting her, I flew to Pakistan in March of 2016, just several days after a suicide bomber killed himself and about 70 women and children in a park in Lahore. It was all over international news and many people begged me not to go. Even Sister Zeph was telling me not to come. I listened to my heart and went anyways. At some point it became impossible for me to keep doing all this work. At that time, Mali gave me an idea. She said, you are teaching stitching to the women. Why don't you give them an opportunity to start making money by selling these clothes. I realized on these trips that I loved Pakistani textiles. Women go to her vocational training school to get free training for stitching, beauty parlor, computer, IT training, and more. Because of all these factors, a vision formed over these past eight and a half years of starting an ethical clothing company with Sisters F. For many years, it was just a dream. Then, with the seed funding of Soho, we decided to launch our own brand, Eva's Ethical Clothing. I wanted to see the women empowered financially, and I knew that through experience and research that the fast fashion industry is one of the biggest polluters on the planet and consists mostly of women who don't get paid fair trade labor wages. When the women cannot be paid fair wages, their children are neglected due to not enough income as well as long hours at work. I wanted to change this narrative for so many years. Thanks to SoHope, we received seed funding to start our own ethical clothing company, but it cannot have longevity and success unless we are supported by women in the West. With the purchasing power of women in the West, we can collectively empower women in the East and consequently keep their children in school and out of child labor and child marriage. We can collectively change the narrative on clothing. In this union of compassion and empowerment, we believe that together we can change lives, one ethical garment at a time. Join us on this transformative journey where fashion becomes a force for good. And together we can create a brighter future. Thank you.